Hi everyone, I'm here for another morning Bible chat. So I was doing my Bible reading this morning and I feel like God put this on my heart to share with you guys. And I want to get started right away because I always tend to talk way too much in these. So here we go. Um, so the title of this video is, Are You Settling With God? And a lot of you guys ask me questions or you message me and you say, like, I'm in a dry spot of my faith. What do I do? And this might be helpful for you. Um, but the question is, are you settling with God? And I want to start with a little story from the Bible because the Bible is the be best place to look. Um, so I am in Exodus and I'm starting around Exodus 20. So if you want to open your Bibles, you can. Um, but Exodus 20 is all about when after God brought the Israelites out of Egypt, they were in slavery and now he's brought them out of Egypt through a ton of miracles, saved them from slavery. And now they're in the desert. So a hard time they're in the desert do you feel like you're in the desert? Because keep watching if you do. Um, so, they're in the desert and um, God is coming to them on a mountain, Mount Sinai. And he comes down on the mountain. And I'm just going to read this little part to you. When the people, and this is in Exodus 20, 18. When the people saw the thunder and lightning and heard the trumpet and saw the mountain in smoke, they trembled with fear. So God was coming down to visit them on the mountain. They stayed at a distance and said to Moses, Speak to us yourself and we will listen, but do not have God speak to us or we will die. So Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. God has come to test you so that you may fear God and you will be... Um, but so that so that the fear of God will be with you to keep you from sinning. The people remained at a distance while Moses approached the thick darkness where God was. And as I read this, I kind of saw this as um, a reflection of what is happening. So the people are staying at a distance while Moses goes and talks to God. Um, so that kind of just starts it off. They're staying at a distance while somebody else is talking to God. And then, as I flip along these pages, Moses talks to God. He gets some laws, some covenants, and he comes back and tells them. And the Israelites say with their lips, everything, and this is in chapter 24, everything the Lord has said we will do. We will do everything the Lord has said we will obey. So they say with their lips, all right, I'm going to obey you, God. But really their hearts, their lips are saying something different than their hearts. Um, and we see this now moving on to chapter 32, the golden calf. And this, I'm going to read to you just a few things from this. When the people saw that Moses, Moses went back up on the mountain to talk with God. When the people saw that Moses was so long in coming down from the mountain, they gathered around Aaron and said, Come make us gods who will go before us. To, they indulged in revel, revelry. They became corrupt. They were quick to turn away. And they were stiff-necked. And they neglected God. So when they saw Moses gone for so long, Moses was on the mountain for 40 days spending that quality solid time with God and the Israelites were just down at camp like la 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 but they turned away from God they literally saw Moses didn't I mean they saw that Moses didn't come back and so they turned to their own things and they um they kind of took their eyes off of what the prize should be, and that was following after God, the God who led them out of slavery and did all those miracles. They forgot all those things, took their eyes off God, and looked to what they wanted in that moment to satisfy them. Moving on, we see, um, I'm going to flip the coin to Moses. So that's the Israelites. They're kind of just doing their own thing. But Look at the example of Moses here. 
So in Exodus 33, it says, the Lord would speak to Moses face to face as one speaks to a friend. Um, and even Moses, this is what Moses prays. If you are pleased with me, teach me your way, Lord, so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. If your presence does not go with us, do not send us from here. Show me your glory. Literally, Moses is saying, God, if you're not with me, I don't want to do it. I'm only doing it if you're with me. He also says, show me who you are. Show me your glory. I need to know you more so I can follow you and please you. And what's insane is that God found favor in Moses's eyes. Um, so it's just so cool how Moses had a heart that seeked God. He focused his eyes and his faith towards God. He did not look at the ways of the world, but he kept his focus on God and God alone. Um, and so this is what my little point that I wrote here. And it says that Moses looked to the Lord. He talked with him face to face. He did not settle for anything less than a relationship and a friendship with God. Okay, so that's Moses. But the Israelites, on the other hand, were settling. They were content in their camp. They were content right where they were. They didn't go and seek out God. Um, but Moses chose to pursue a deeper relationship with Christ or with God. And because of that, it was evident to all that he radiated God's glory. I want to finish with this. It says, after Moses spoke with God, his face was radiant because he had spoken with the Lord. And the people were all afraid. Moses radiated God's glory. And don't you want to be a follower after Christ that everyone looks at and says, Oh my goodness, they look so much like Jesus. They're radiating Christ. It doesn't matter what's happening in their life. They just radiate Jesus. And I have met people where I have talked to them for five minutes and I'm just like, I know that the spirit is so strong in them because they just radiate Christ and you can tell. But the Israelites did not radiate Christ because they did not pursue that relationship with him. They were content and they settled with just saying, all right, Moses, go be with God while we wait here for you. So um, my thing for you today is that if you feel like you're in a dry spout of your faith, then seek God. Turn your face to God Ask him for that desire. Literally, Moses prayed, show me who you are. Show me your glory that I may continue to find favor with you. So do not settle. Ask God to put a fire in your heart and follow after the Lord and just be on fire to follow after Christ with your whole life. Pray for that because that is the best thing that you can do, especially starting at a young age. So if you want a good prayer to pray, if you want a fire in your heart, then turn to Exodus 33, um, 13, 12, 13. And I will be praying for you guys that you will just um, start to cultivate a fire in your heart for the Lord. So that is what I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy these. Definitely like this video. If you like these, subscribe to our channel and comment down below um, what you got out of this and how you're doing because I want to know. So I love you guys. Bye.